Today video I am going to show you that Lewis structure, geometry and bond angle of a compound. So first to determine that Lewis structure, you need to count that steric number. So you can also see that whole uh, whiteboard I draw a lot of structure. So this is just a common concept. So before going to that Lewis structure, you need to know that steric number. Then we will go that geometry and the effect of that lone pair. So first to determine that uh, aesthetic number you need to know that single bond is count as one and double bond also is count as one triple also count as one and lone pair also count as one so uh, to uh, determine that aesthetic number i can give you an example right so we already know that structure of water molecule right so in that order molecule there is two single bond right so one two and two lone pair one three this is four so one two three four so this number are count as aesthetic number so any kind of compounds like ammonia you can see that structure so ammonia has three single bond right single bond which will count as three and one lone pair which will count as one so ammonia also have like four steric number okay so when we count that four or, or any uh, steric number then we can go through that general topics and we can go through that Lewis structure geometry and bond angle of any compound okay so in this video i'm going to show you that lewis structure of uh, that glycine and it is a little bit complex because it is a big compound you can see that but for for a complex compound or big compound first what you need to do that you need to figure out their central element like here is nitrogen here is carbon this structure then you can completely draw their structure or you will get that Lewis structure of that or you can say also line dash with structure then uh, we will figure out that so for nitrogen you can see there is one two three and this lone pair that's been nitrogen has four steric number so then you got that four steric number for nitrogen and then we need to match that number with that table i already draw for you so four match with that one steric number right then it has one lone pair that's mean it will be trigonal bipyramidal okay this is structure trigonal bipyramidal because it has one lone pair electron so if i draw that structure redraw that structure it will be like that trigonal bipyramidal trigonal sorry pyramidal pyramidal then for carbon it has one two three four that's been four four steric number which is tetrahedral because it has no lone pair so it will be tetrahedral for carbon this one you can see one two and three three steric number and no lone pair so 3 is here, no lone pair, so it will be trigonal, planar, trigonal, planar. Then you can see that oxygen, which has two lone pair, that's been two steric number and two single bond, another two steric number, that's mean four. Four steric number is here, so it will be here, four steric number and two lone pair, so four and two steric number so it will be bent so i got bent structure here okay then you can see that that total compound line dash structure which is trigonal pyramidal tetrahedral trigonal and bent sorry trigonal planar and bent then we can uh, rearrange them by their structure so trigonal by uh, trigonal pyramidal which is that so it will be like that structure okay so if i redraw that so trigonal 
by pyramidal one dash line so which is hydrogen and this one is direct line and this one will join with the carbon so this is this is trigonal by pyramidal for nitrogen and then i will draw that carbon tetrahedral which has no lone pair that's been it will show that structure which has one dash and one broad line okay so i can draw that structure like that this hydrogen will go there and this so this is the uh, tetrahedral structure of that carbon and it, this carbon has trigonal planar so this carbon trigonal planar so it will be like that right so this structure you can see that it should be one should be in dash line so i can show you that structure by that so that is two right two and one trigonal bipyramidal one will be dotted like that one okay so this oxygen for this oxygen it is bent okay and uh, if this is bent that's mean it goes there and there is no this so there is that and that so you can see there that structure of glycine and this is the complete structure or line dash whales structure of glycine you can consider this as a Lewis structure and finally you can see that how to determine that structure first you need to determine their core element structure and then you, you need to rearrange them i think you got that